white robes, blue uniforms. For everywhere envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. For the wisdom that is from above is pure, then peaceful, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace to them that make peace. James chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. In the past, it was white males in white robes terrorizing blacks. In the 21st century, it's white males in blue uniforms with guns and badges and the law on their side terrorizing and killing blacks. Thus, the law enforcement constabulary was established to checkmate blacks as well as other minorities. Even though in American society, crime is an intra-racial phenomenon. Whites rob and kill each other, and blacks rob and steal and kill each other. Hence, crime in America is intra-racial, not interracial. Whites should fear other whites, not minorities. Therefore, the law enforcement constabulary is an after-the-fact investigatory agency, not a preventive agency. The more things change, the more they remain the same. Of course, the Bible spiritually warns us concerning wolves who masquerade in sheep's clothing. This is why Jesus talked about children of God learning to live in the midst of evil, and therefore they must learn how to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. 21st century American society is defined and characterized by gun violence. The spiritual question is why? The answer lies in the fact that America has become a country without a sense of the sacred, oriented toward a gun culture society, where the gun is God, guns, guns, and more guns. As a matter of fact, vanity is running rampant. American society has more guns than citizens, and even America itself does not reference God in a sacred sense. She is talking about the God that she has inscribed on the monetary system in God we trust, the money, not the God who created the heavens and the earth. Therefore, guns, oil, and drugs are the real gods, because they generate the money, the wealth. If we desire a change in our conscience and our mindsets, there must be a sense of shame. Most Americans do not want Lady Justice to be blind, nor to have the scales of the justice system balanced. Hence, too many whites desire something for nothing, wealth, power, and justice only for Anglo-Saxons. Even in white Christian right evangelical churches, there is an ungodly doctrine concerning universal humanity and brotherhood being taught. And sadly, in the sanctity of the United States House of Representatives, some GOP members desire to have an Anglo-Saxon caucus with the primary objective of preserving and protecting white privilege. Moreover, they are using the Trump doctrine and Trump loyalists, Oath Keepers, QAnon, and other white supremacist groups to fuel and promote their racist agenda. Where do we go from here? God-fearing America? Let's pray that it is not to hell in a handbasket because God gave Noah the rainbow sign. No more water but the fire next time. America, cease.
flame with fire. 